what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a little bit of a touch on my lab results Woo! i went for a lab test on friday they also did an ekg today i got notification from my doctor that my lab results are in and i got spoken to and i was not expecting what the results showed so uh, I wanted to talk to you about that. If you've been following me for a while, you know the last year um, I started a company, a home care company that has skyrocketed. And with that comes a lot of stress and a lot of um, not eating enough or well. I bounced around over the last few years from diet to diet to diet. I went through menopause. Like there has just been a lot. And I have definitely taken a toll. <laughs> My body is not happy. And so I have struggled um, with my weight. The last year, most, uh, and most that's the most I've struggled. Let's say that. I have done some self-sabotage, but I always felt like I could lose some weight and then it would just come back on. Um, over the last few months though, it's like, there's nothing I can do. I feel like I eat very healthy and, um, I have a lot of symptoms that I was attributing to my business, my career, uh, fatigue most importantly, but it's been an abnormal kind of fatigue and which prompted me to have a discussion with my doctor to have some of these blood tests um, where where sometimes like I don't even I can't physically do the things I want to do I'm just so exhausted and for so long over the last year I've just really thought it was because of menopause because of starting a company and working my tail off um, you know I'm also Next week on the 20th, I will be 55 and I'm getting older, so I can't take for granted anything. So with all of that being said, um, you've seen uh, the decision that I had made with my doctor prior to the labs to go on GLP-1 meds to lose the weight because I feel like nothing I'm doing is working. My hot flashes have been gone for quite some time now. And I've been noticing, and it, even Jess was saying to me the other day, it's such a stark contrast. I was always hot. Now I'm always cold. In fact, we have central air in our house, and I am constantly shutting it off because I'm just freezing and everybody else is hot. So I have done like a complete flip with that, which is very noticeable. Um, but I just, again, I thought it was because I finished with menopause, but like they stopped and then all of a sudden I'm cold. Um, I'm losing eyelashes. I, I have been getting constipated. I have just, there's just a lot. And again, I thought stress. So blood test, EKG, here's the result. So first and foremost, um, he wanted to check my um inflammation markers and guys every single one <laughs> was way off the charts for instance ast you can look this up i'm not getting deep dive into it but basically ast is something that the liver puts out when your body wants uh, to repair itself, right? Inflammation and whatnot, and it can't do it. So AST measures, uh, the test measures this enzyme that's within our blood that's secreted from the liver. It could be a sign of liver damage, but I, the doctor doesn't seem to think so. It can be related to cardiac inflammation or the pancreas. It could also be due to metabolic damage. Cholesterol. I have never really had a high cholesterol. Guess what? It's high. <laughs> it was not 
horrifically high, but for me, it's normally around 125, 140, somewhere in there. It was 213. Um, let me get into some more things. Um, one of the biggest markers you could do for yourself for cardiac health, for um, metabolic syndrome, for, <clears throat> excuse me, for, um, what was I going to say? Uh, osteoporosis for cancer, for a whole host of things is a C-reactive protein, but there's a test called HS, high sensitivity C-reactive protein. It's better than all of the cholesterol checks, including HDL, LDL, major, regular cholesterol. It's better than just a plain C-reactive protein, which I did have, which was elevated. So my high sensitivity CRP, basically I wrote down, it's a protein from the liver, just like I was talking about the other one. And it's secreted as part of the body's natural inflammatory response. Basically saying, holy shit, we need to repair you, but we're having a really hard time doing it. There's not enough, we can't do it. And that, when it's secreted, can be rheumatoid arthritis, it can be your atherosclerosis, your vessels are all clogged up, metabolic syndrome, it could be, it could be anything that would cause major damage, including um, uh, autoimmune diseases. So, like everything of mine is high. My lipoprotein A is also an indicator of atherosclerosis, heart and blood vessel disease. Mine is jacked. Vitamin D, barely there. I have hardly any vitamin D. It gets better, guys. No, it doesn't. Um, my ESR is where they take your blood and they measure how quickly and how many settle to the bottom of the test tube of your red blood cells. It's a clear indication of inflammation and mine is kind of <laughs> off the charts. Um, guys, m m the biggest thing here that the doctor wanted to talk to me about was my TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Basically, this hormone is secreted from your pituitary. It's actually not from the thyroid, it's from your brain. And similar to like how I'm a boss and I have employees. If an employee isn't working hard enough, like your thyroid isn't working hard enough, the boss tells, verbally tells that person, hey, you need to work harder, you need to work harder, you need to work harder, and they're not listening. You need to work harder, you need to work harder, and we get louder and louder. That is what your TSH does. It's a thyroid stimulating hormone. And when your thyroid isn't working properly, your pituitary says, hey, wake up. Guys, I'm so fatigued. No wonder my thyroid's off. My inflammation markers are off. Everything's a mess. <laughs> my white count, all of those things were good. Thank God. I have no signs of infection. Um... There's a lot of other stuff. These were just the main ones that I wanted to touch on. And it's really scary. So my doctor said, it looks like it's probably Hashimoto's. And Hashimoto's is an autoimmune thyroid condition. Lots of women have it. Uh, it looks like I may have it. And there you go. That is likely why I have just been struggling Struggling with my weight, gaining weight, being cold, being tired, run down. I also suffer from constipation sometimes. I sometimes notice my heart rate dips down into the 40s because I wear my heart rate monitor on my Apple Watch. And I see it sometimes and I have it set to an alert and I'm like, 40? One day it was 39. And I'm telling you, it freaked the hell out of me. But it's all starting to make sense. When your thyroid is not working properly, everything slows down. Your heart rate can slow down. Your energy is not there because it's trying to work so hard. And like, even when you're exercising, you're using up so much energy that your body is also using energy so it can work against you. 
whole host of things. So Thursday, we have uh, another conversation scheduled. And then I go back on the 25th of June for more labs and a more in-depth face-to-face conversation of what we're going to do. I have a feeling on Thursday, uh, my doctor is going to talk to me about GLP, maybe talk to me about thyroid meds. I have no idea. But yeah, scary, right? Because all my markers could be an indicator that within the next 10 years, I could literally have a heart attack. I could drop dead. Sudden cardiac death syndrome is real. And obviously I don't want that to happen. So I am so glad that I went and I am so glad that my doctor is on top of all of these tests and ordered more things than just your regular lab. So uh, if you're feeling like I am in your 50s, 60s, somewhere in there, ask your doctor for the HS, high sensitivity um, C-reactive protein test, thyroid, everything. A lot of doctors just order C-reactive protein and that's usually when you have to ask for it. So HS, high sensitivity C-reactive protein is one that they hardly ever check. So ask for it if you're having the symptoms that I am. All I can say is, aside from all of that, knowing this information, I would be an absolute fool not to research the best kind of foods to eat, to stay away from, and all of that. I have to do a full inventory of what I'm eating, how I'm eating. I know certain vegetables are not great for um, Hashimoto's, such as cauliflower and broccoli. Did you know that? And I eat cauliflower almost every day. So uh, I am going to be doing that all the while, anticipating my GLP to get the weight off. GLPs are also very, very good for um, bringing inflammation down, helping with the receptors, especially for patients with cardiac disease, kidney disease, which fortunately I don't have. Um, But I want to get to the heart of what's going on here, no pun intended, because it's a big eye-opener when your whole life has been great with your labs and then all of a sudden there's like 10 things that are not supposed to be elevated. Unbelievable. So I'm going to leave you with that. I have to go inside a patient's house right now and do an assessment. Um, But stay tuned because Thursday, another video will come up and I'll talk to you more about what my doctor says and we will continue this journey. Um, Hopefully I get my prescription. (laughs) Hopefully. I don't know. Am I going to have to go on thyroid medication now? Like I have no idea. So I will keep you posted Thursday. I love you all. Say a prayer for me, please. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye you guys.